This morning, Indianapolis Public Schools, the second largest school district in central Indiana, or in Indiana, uh, largest in central Indiana, of course, heads back to class. This is a live look outside John Marshall, which is uh, one of IPS is one of seven districts in our area that start school today. In all districts, teachers spend their own money to get classrooms ready. So at this point, the only company that tracks these numbers just released its fifth annual survey. So Kylie's with us now with more on the numbers. Good morning. Good morning. I met Broad Ripple High School math teacher Katie Nelson. She shared her story. She says, you know what? I didn't get into this to make a lot of money. I'm mm -hmm. doing this for the kids. She says she wants her students to learn and she will make sure they have the tools necessary to do so. Every math teacher's dream. Paper and pencils. Something Broad Ripple High School math teacher Katie Nelson says she can't have enough of. That way they've got what they need and you don't lose any instructional time. Nelson says she starts her shopping mid-July and watches for sales each week through at least Labor Day. So it's just a matter of what's on sale that particular week. The first company to start tracking teacher spending, Sheer ID, finished its latest teacher survey just weeks ago. In it, 674 teachers say they spend on average $468 of their own money on school supplies each year. I'm always surprised. I'm surprised year after year that, that teachers are spending that much of their own money. Teachers are allowed to file for a federal tax deduction of up to $250 for school supplies. These days, Nelson says she tries to keep her back to school spending in that window. Five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, that ought to get us started. This trip to Staples, $60.64. It looks like a Black Friday receipt. I know. <laughs> now, Nelson says she's on her way to a good start. Nelson will have about 150 students this year. One of a hundred teachers in the same building pulling from the same supply cabinet. There isn't always going to be what you need. You, your, your classroom runs the way you want it to run. It uses the materials you want it to have. As much as teachers are spending, it's actually less than last year, according to Sheer ID. Not because they're buying less, but because retailers are offering better teacher discounts. One of the, from the same survey, we show that 96% of teachers will seek out retailers who offer a teacher discount when they're buying for the classroom. During this trip to Staples, the store was offering teacher appreciation discounts. It's a way for teachers to stock up more cost effectively. Um, that they're just kind of quietly spending their own money and that it just it feels like something that if if there could be more national awareness of it, that maybe there could be a solution. Nelson's passion for teaching is clear. I do. I love what I do. I love what I do. But does that mean she should be spending her own money to supply her students with what they need? It's a hard question, really, because would, would teachers love to have more money to spend on supplies? Sure. But it's, it's something we've always done. To something that they do. I asked Nelson what her advice to young teachers would be who are starting from scratch. She said ads, ads, ads. Sign up for newsletters, emails, check the ads on Sundays and stock up early while it is cheap and there are these sales. And clearly there are a number of reasons why students might not be able to show up with right. these supplies. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I asked Katie that and she said, you know what, we just don't ask the students why they don't have them because you never know what the answer is going to be. And she doesn't want to put them in a difficult situation. So she said, sometimes it is that they're forgetful. Yeah. We all have been there, but other times it's simply they don't have the means or the resources to get it themselves. Maybe a lot going on at home. Absolutely. Yeah, that could definitely be an embarrassing situation if it's brought to light. Sure. Kelly, thank you. you